Okay. Hello, everybody. So, so good to see you. Let's get caught up on chat, first of all, as always. Um, Happy was here first. Happy, hello. So, so good to see you. How are you doing, friend? Sausage is also here. Hello, hello. Happy saved up enough uh, channel points to redeem, draw a little picture. So we're going to start off today by drawing uh, a little bee and maybe on flower. That'd be super, super fun. Um, we've got Happy checking out the game list. Ross, hello. So good to see you, friend. Hi, hi, Ross. Um, Clark is here as well. And Cass and Elaine. Oh, man, all the friends are showing up today. So, so good to see all of you. Oh, no. Clark is stressed. There's a paper due tonight, an exam tomorrow, and you're running on three hours of sleep. I guess it is near the end of the semester. Um, best of luck to you, friend. I'm so, so sorry to hear that. Uh, Cass says, I've actually managed to do some things that I've been procrastinating. Heck yeah. And I know I should be proud, but I feel like I'm just not doing enough. Oh, no. Cass, you're, you are enough right here in this moment. It doesn't matter uh, how much or how little you've gotten done. It's, it's enough. You went to bed at 10 a.m.? Clark. Oh, no. Hi, Maddie. Hi. <laughs> Happy. Thanks Thanks for the congrats. Yes, I'm so, so excited that Speedcat is going so well. I checked the uh, itch.io stats today, and we're over 1,500 plays, which is kind of nuts. People have played Speedcat over 1,500 times. Um, everyone's saying hi to each other. That's what we love. Everyone go check out Blitch's Ko-Fi for a physical copy of his amazing game, Speedcat. Yes, you can do that if you type in exclamation mark Speedcat. Also, today on stream, near the end of the stream, uh, we're going to be raffling off a copy of Speedcat. Um, so if you're over 18 and don't mind sharing your address information with me, uh, you'll be able to enter that giveaway and uh, you might win a physical copy that I'll mail to you for free. Making me cry within seven minutes. Let's go. <laughs> Heck yeah, we're here for that. You're welcome. You're welcome, Cass. Everyone's still saying hi to each other. We love it. Paper is so bad. I don't have the time to fix it because I have to study for my exam. Yeah, I mean, it's okay to submit uh, meh papers. That's okay. Deadfly, hello. So, so good to see you, friend. Thank you for being here. Oh, man. Y'all are so chatty. I can't catch up. <laughs> Loaf is using Prime. Thank you, Loaf. Hype. Yes, hype indeed. Hype, hype indeed. Okay. Let's, let's crank out this B, shall we? Uh, happy happy days uh redeemed draw a little picture so we're gonna we're gonna draw ourselves a happy little bee shall we um it's gonna be a little pixel a little pixel bee sorry fletch guess i'll just never chat again maddie no please maddie it's okay did i not say hi i thought i said hi i saw you do exclamation mark maddie and i thought i said hello What's wrong? What did I do? How did I, how did I do the offend? I don't want to be the offend. Okay, let's draw a bee. Bees are yellow, right? Um, maybe maybe we'll cheat a little bit. We'll we'll grab ourselves some symmetry, shall we? A little little round little bee, right? We, bees gotta have some wings, right? This is I guess this is turning into an overview picture of a bee, isn't it? Isn't it? That's too much. What are we doing? What are we doing? No, Fletch, it's because you said we chat so much. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. No, y'all chat just enough. It's perfect. And I can't catch up. Well, that's okay. I mean, it can be a just chatting stream. Ban everyone. No, please. Oh, hack script. Thank you for redeeming hydrate. Um, everyone, grab, grab a liquid nearby. Hopefully water and not something deadly to humans. And uh, take a little sip. Uh, cheers, Hacks. That's that's delicious. Thank you. Y'all, Hackscript is one of our Discord mods, and uh, he helps keep things there safe and happy. So, uh, so can we get some hype in chat for Hacks? Really appreciate all the all the help that you put into the server. Ban everyone? Oh no! Oh no! Self ban? Oh no! <laughs> Try and stop me, Rainmaker. <laughs> I'm the Wordle dude. Yeah, Hacks. I think you're the only one playing Wordle anymore. But I'll leave the channel open as long as you want to play. I still I still look at how good you do. It's fun. Hey Birdie, so so good to see you. I'm grabbing my liquid plutonium U32 to drink. No, <laughs> loaf, please. <laughs> 
yeah, Elaine, if you play Wordle, uh, you can you can post about it in our um, in in the Discord, and then we can all see uh, how cool you are and how fast you uh, solve the puzzles. That looks bad. Hmm. Oops. Is that too many stripes for a bee? Maybe that's too many stripes for a bee. Maybe the bee doesn't need that many stripes. Maybe the bee maybe the bee needs fatter stripes. Like one one big chonky stripe, you know? Maybe. Yeah, that's, that's pretty all right. What if what if we uh slap a flower underneath this this bad bee, shall we? All right, essay time. Yeah. Have a great lurk. Um, thanks for thanks for being here, Clark. Good good luck. Mods are gone. Time for crazy chat. Unhinged. <laughs> Hype and knife. <laughs> Chonk. Yep. Happy. I agree. Um, I see some bleach. That's liquid, right? No, y'all, please, please, please. Oh, is that a Marianne emote? Heck yeah. Uh, Cass says, I wanted to play Wordle, but I never managed to solve one. Listen, English is my second language. I am trying. Yeah, Cass, Wordle is difficult for me. A uh, English is a first language person. <laughs> Can't imagine trying to uh, trying to do it without uh, English being your first language. All right, what, are, what do flowers look like? Um, hey, hey, Happy, how do you feel about purple? Let, let me let me know. Uh, we'll be able to change this uh, this color later on if you don't like purple, but I'm kind of vibing with purple right now. However, if you if you want a different color, you just let me know. Fletchlings assemble. <laughs> well, this is Matt. This is Maddie's redeem, so I want to make sure that Maddie has uh, plenty of opportunity to let me know that uh, purple isn't very good. Hey, Illy, so good to see you. Everyone's everyone's doing chaos in chat, so. Happy says purple is a vibe. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. All right. We can't use the same yellow for the flower center that we used for uh, the bee because that'll that'll look a little funky. So we're going to bring this up to a slightly higher value. That's a square. We don't like squares. Oh, did I hear a noise? Oh my goodness. Anonymous cheerer. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Thank you first time chat from my... oh your username is an anonymous cheerer wow thank you thank you for those 100 bits i appreciate you thank you so much i was about to say i hope you enjoy your emotes but i don't think i don't think that's how that works <laughs> good thing wait we don't like squares good thing i'm around heck yeah heck yeah you just finished a purple dishcloth. Oh, Elaine, that sounds so cool. That sounds so cool. Um, How do I do the do? This needs to go away. Nope, that needs to be purple. This one needs to go away. This one needs to go away. Perfect, that's better. Um, We need to fill in this purple, shall we? Let's color grab this. Let's get a slightly different color. No, not that. Contiguous, please. Boom. Let's uh, slap our bee back in and see how it looks. Oh, we're covering the uh, entire center of the flower. So let's grab this layer. Let's pull the bee down a little bit. Those yellows don't look great together. It kind of blends in too much, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Okay, that's fine. We can fix this. We're going to pull the bee down. We're going to hide the bee for now. We're going to pull the flower up, right? And we're going to grab a very different yellow. Um, I'm gonna make it more yellow. I'm gonna try this. Slap the bee back on. That's a little better. He's he's sipping. He's sipping. A little bee is sipping. Maybe maybe we move the bee back this way a little bit. These these are meant to be quick drawing regimes, so I'm not going too much for accuracy. Um, I think I want this center flower to be a little bit lighter. How's that? That's 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 better contrast. What does it look like if I go a little bit lighter? That's pretty good. Let's bring the bee back a little bit more center. Happy, how do you feel about this? 
Wait, did Matty use 2.5k speed coins for a little picture? Happy did. Happy days 86. Happy, are you are you satisfied with your picture? Oh, we need a background. Don't answer that question. We need a background. I can't just leave it transparent. Um Grassy Field. That's all right. Um lovely, I got a lurk, but I'll see y'all later. Okay. Okay, this is finished for Maddie. We'll call this finished for Maddie cuz she's got a lurk. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh redeeming um a little pixel picture. I appreciate you. I think I said Maddie. I meant to say Happy. Oh my word. Can we change songs, please? Uh Dogma Wababi. Um I don't have access right now to um any other music provider other than lo-fi records who license their music to be used by streams for free um so uh at this point uh we're just gonna let the songs play through but um i'm sorry that if, if we need to like skip ahead um i'm happy to but if you want to change playlist entirety entirely then i cannot where are my Twitch redeems? Twitch? Oh, Twitch redeems. I'm just blind. It's fine. And this was Happy Days 86. Uh, and today's date is 5-3-22. Cool. Let's just export it real quick. Beautiful. Okay, great. Um, let's go back to uh, Peek Away, shall we? And we'll, we'll get started with some game dev. We will get started with some game dev. Uh, Pletch did say my name, but I thought I misheard. Yeah, I think I did by accident. Um, confusion in chat. Yeah. Wait, an anonymous cheerer has around 36,000 followers, but doesn't stream. That's epic. That's epic. Let's skip ahead. Okay. 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 All right. I skipped the song. Um, I always snoop on public information. Heck yeah. You done some snooping? <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah, I've seen Anonymous Cheer actually show up in other streams in a uh, cheer, so that's pretty cool. That's that's very kind of them. Anyways, friends, hello. We're we're doing some cozy game development today. I'm gonna take a deep breath, just kinda like recenter myself. Hello. Hi. Um yes, this duck does make me happy as well. It's so good. Today, what I want to do, uh, what I have on the agenda for us to do, is to take these um, large duck sprites that we made, and I want to, in the code, break them up into these small parts, right? So we have like um, the head this way, the head tilted, um, the wing, the legs, the shoe power-ups, and then uh, the duck body. And I want to break it up like this um, because we can do some really cool things with sprite animation where we uh, draw every piece of the duck separately and then we can animate them all separately using numbers and math and it'll make a really, really nice idle animation. So the goal for today is making a really nice idle information, uh, an uh, bleh, idle animation for when the duck is standing still. Um, and that's what we're going to do. I've never done this before, so it's going to be interesting. However, I think we can do it together. I think we can do it together, right? Birdie says I was in until you said math and numbers. <laughs> don't worry. We're, we're going to, we're just going to, we're just going to keep it chill. And if we don't get it all done today, no worries. We'll just work on it again next Tuesday, you know? So, um, hello. Hi. Yeah. Maddie, Maddie knows how I like to say hello to chat i just have to say it a couple times <laughs> billy you got this fletch thank you Lo, thank you for using the prime command and reminding everyone that you can subscribe to this stream using your amazon prime subscription i've only animated in csp but i'm sure you know what's going on yeah so animations in uh pico 8 unfortunately um it doesn't work like a art editor you have to like uh flip between sprites or draw different things on screen in a certain way that it gives the impression of movement without like using a timeline or whatever pan is sliding into chat hello pan so so good to see you how are you doing friend 
All right, so, so I've explained what we want to do today. First thing is first, I need to write down for myself what all of these sprites are. Oh my word. Derek, thank you for the raid. Drugsma, hello. Um, let's get let's get a shout out to uh, to Drugsma, shall we? Shout out at Drugsma. Derek, hello. So good to see you, friend. Um, uh, Derek plays video games and does Pomodoro streams and a bunch of other cool content. Um, if you Derek, if you send me a uh, a whisper with a link, or if um you want to share like socials or anything like that, just let me know. And I would be more than happy to uh, share a little slice of your world with, with chat here. Um, Derek is a good friend. Thank you. Thank you so much for bringing your community over here. Um, Drugsma sent me and I brought some vibes. Heck yeah. We need all the vibes we can get over here. Thank you. Ducks. Yes, Jess, we're we're working with ducks today. Today we're going to be trying to animate or we're going to be trying to bring an idle animation to our friend Arlo the duck. Um that's that's the goal for today. Is just do a little little idle animation. I'm biased, but Derek makes great music. That's true. I do listen to Derek's music on Spotify quite often. Quite quite often. Tauntaun, hello. So so good to see you. Welcome in Tauntaun. Hi, hello. Hello, hi. It's Tauntaun. Cool. Okay. Um, while we while we await uh, Drugsma's link, um, brain just went empty. Brain just went empty. Yeah, yeah. Arlo the duck. Uh, Arlo was named by uh, Casamus. Or Casa Casa Muse, um, in chat last week, uh, she was talking about um, her new nephew being named Arlo and how she wanted the duck to be named Arlo. And uh, how could I say no? Arlo was a perfect name for our duck, so 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 Arlo the duck it is. Speedcat never got a name, but I feel like Arlo was like too perfect to not to not say yes to. Um, oh, I have a, I have a thing. Link tree. Honestly, this is the easiest thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you, friend. Let's copy and paste this into chat. I feel like Speedcat was the cat's name. Yeah, 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 for sure. Everyone, go check out uh, Drugsma's socials, um, podcasts, Spotify, music, incredible, incredible music, um, Twitch, all of it. Please, please go check it out. Uh, Drugsma is um a great great content creator and you will not be disappointed speed the cat yeah <laughs> i actually had my play testers um uh discuss and like brainstorm ideas for speed cats both name and pronouns and the only thing i felt comfortable saying like like setting in stone was that speed cats pronouns are any um any pronouns but but beyond that like a name just no none of the names ever felt quite right so we'll just just left speed cat nameless speed cat is too fast for a name the sound waves simply cannot catch up yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i agree i agree um all right that's right we're gonna we're gonna edit um some code and we're gonna try and make a sweet little little idle animation so what we need as with any any good program so we need some data, all right? So I've never done this before. We're gonna figure it out together. Let's let's do it, shall we? Um, so we we keep track of the duck's position and their hitbox, right? That's really cool. Uh, now I want to start keeping track of the position of each part of the duck's body, if that makes sense, right? And I want it relative to the duck's current position. So I don't need to like have a screen position that I need to remember. I'm only remembering uh, the position relative to this duck dot position variable. Um, so relative coordinates, that's how we're gonna do this. Um, 
and now we need to start we need to start uh creating spaces for that data to live so let's uh, create a new section or like a new comment for ourselves and just say um sprite draw info say duck dot maybe we'll call it um duck dot uh sprite because this is about uh the ducks the duck sprite information right and we need it to be a table so we can hold multiple points of data and then there are multiple body parts for the duck right we've got head equals and then we'll put in a value there and then wings equals and then we'll put in a value here and then legs equals and then okay so we've got head wings legs probably body is the last thing we'll need and maybe i'll put this in draw order so we'll do body first then head then wings then legs perfect ellie hello so so good to see you hi hi ellie hi it's a little ghost it's ellie um yeah sorry head is head is going empty <laughs> how are you doing friend oh everyone is so happy to see ellie we love that we love that okay so now that we have this information i put in zeros as like placeholders for myself to remind myself hey some data needs to go there but now we get the pleasure of actually figuring out what kinds of data we want to put in there right so um our body is going to be another table and a table is just where we store information let me add some spaces to these real quick and now we're going to want uh drawing information related to where we want to draw the body right so we can do x equals zero y equals zero and again these coordinates will be relative position to these coordinates so uh We'll, we'll add or subtract some numbers together to make it make it all work. Um, very head empty time of day. True, Illy. So, so true. Uh, I wish the value of wings be zero. Love me some free wings. Me too, birdie. <laughs> oh, I forgot to... There we go. That's better, isn't it? I, I totally forgot to uh, make things bigger for y'all. So hopefully, hopefully that helps the readability a little bit. Sorry about that. Um, I'll be lurking while I do JS tutoring, but I love how much duck is in this code. It's such happy code. Yes. Happy code is necessary. So, so necessary. So what we'll do now is we'll just, uh, give an X and Y position to all of the parts of a duck, right? Makes sense to me. Boom. Now, uh, the next step is figuring out, um, where exactly to draw these these parts of the body or I'm, yeah these parts of the duck's body so um this is where we go back to our sprite sheet and we just count pixels cool everyone everyone cool with counting pixels i'm cool with counting pixels all right so the way sprites get drawn is they start from the top left corner so if we maximize this and we're thinking about where we want the body to be uh positioned on the screen the top left corner of the body starts well i guess this is my body sprite so my body sprite is here right and it starts right here in this top left corner right so uh that's gonna be like right here so we're gonna count some pixels we're gonna go one two three four five six so we're gonna go six down in the y direction and then zero over in the uh, x direction for now because this is flush with this wall, and we can we can adjust that later. So x zero y six. So let's go back to our code, and we'll say the body is at x zero y six. Easy peasy, right? Maddie says, Fletch, weren't I'm weren't you gonna take a break? Was I gonna take a break? Oh heck, did I say I was gonna take a break? Well, you know, my, my water's empty, so it is a good time for a break, isn't it? 
it is a good time for a break. Y'all can, y'all can, uh, just vibe for, um, like a minute or less while I stand up and go get myself some water from the fridge. I will be right back. Thank you for the reminder, Maddie. All right, we're back. Hello. Um, I love I love seeing everyone yell at each other. It's so, so good to see everyone so excited to see friends. We love that. Vibes, ooh, woo, good. Good, Cass. All the lovelies, mods are gone. Let's drop some hot takes. <laughs> Birdie, what's your hot take? I wanna know. Maddie is rioting, stirring the pot and lighting a torch. That sounds so dangerous. <laughs> Maddie, perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Sri. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Um, what we were going to do next is we were going to count pixels for the head, right? So let's look at where the head is on our screen. Y is going to be zero because it's touching the top edge. And we're going to count to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's 10. I mean, I didn't say the number 10 first, but it's it's the 10th position away from the left edge. So we're gonna say um, 10, zero. Easy peasy. All right. Oh no, I pressed the uh, wrong button. Hopefully stream doesn't crash while uh, a program loads in the background that I wasn't supposed to load. <laughs> It's my video editing software, and it's kind of heavy on the graphics card, so let's uh, just nope out of there. See you, DaVinci Resolve. I promise I'll I'll show you some love later on. Um, what are we doing? We just did the head. Let's let's do some wings, shall we? Hacks redeemed hydrate. Thank you, Hacks, for the second time today. Cheers. Uh, I've got my full water glass now, so uh, everybody take a sip. Oh, that's delicious. I love water. Okay, so the wings is gonna get interesting because now we have, uh, it's not touching an edge. So we've got to count left and down, right? So the X position is just gonna be one, two, three, I think one, two, no, just, yeah, three, 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 three. So X is three and Y is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So we're gonna remember three eight. Do do do. Wings is three eight. Perfect. Let's go back, and now we need our little feeties. Our little feeties. A uh, hot take. Different water has different tastes. True, Birdie. That is so true. I one thousand percent agree. Hack says an open glass next to your PC. Yes, but uh, the PC is on uh, risers. So uh, even if I spilled it all over my desk, the PC wouldn't be affected. What is that emoticon? I didn't type that. <laughs> I don't see an emoticon. Um, it's interesting that it, it did that. Moose, hello. Welcome in friend. So, so good to see you. How are you doing? Let's count for the legs, shall we? Our legs. Are, uh, let's count from the left first. So one, two, three. X is three. And Y is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's gonna be 14. All right, so let's go back. 
and this is going to be 3, 14. Perfect. Now, uh, what we need to do is we need to draw this information to the screen. We've got the data. The data is great. Uh, we need to draw it to the screen. Also, one thing I forgot actually is we need a third piece of data, which tells us which sprite number to use. Um, so actually, I'm going to fill that in real quick because I 1000% forgot about this. So please, please hold while we just slap this in here. Let's line things up so it looks a little bit cleaner. Perfect. Uh, let's give two spaces for everything. Except one space for you. Perfect. Okay. Sorry, I'm just going to clean up my code so it's, it's more readable. Okay. Um... This sprite number was, uh, the body is sprite number 14. The head is sprite number 48. The wings are sprite number 50. And the legs are 51. Beautiful. Okay, now now we have all the information that we need to draw this to the screen. Uh, I put my laptop on a riser after spilling coffee in my work once. I was like, never again. Yeah, yeah, that's a mistake you make once. I'm sorry that happened to you that one time, Jess. <laughs> Moose says early access one. Moose, we've put we've put like four and a half hours into this game. Uh, it's it's gonna be a while, but we are making progress, which is super cool. Birdie says, hot take, all desktop PC belong on the floor. Yes, they need fresh air, but wasting desk, desk space is madness. Uh, Birdie, I disagree. Yes, but if the inside of your PC is cool looking, then you want to be able to see it. Exactly, Jess. My PC looks amazing. <laughs> Moose says, this is me not caring how many hours. This is me asking for early access. I, I will have a playtest application open for Earthquake when it's ready to be playtested. And any of y'all can sign up and I'll select... Um, I'll select a few to be able to play test with Quack. So there will be, there will be access to it eventually. Um, it's all good. I acted fast and saved it. Awesome. That's great. Moose waits patiently. Thank you. Thank you for waiting patiently. I'm glad that you're excited because Arlo is amazing. I, I'm so excited to be, uh, be doing, um, this, this little game. It's going to be really fun. All right, all of this code, what you see, it's bonkers. We don't need this anymore. Delete. We didn't need that in our lives. What we do need is we need information on uh, drawing the body. We need information on drawing the head. We need information on drawing the wings. We need information on drawing the legs. And then I guess this technically prints debug information. All right, so let's draw the body first, shall we? Uh, what we're gonna do is we're still gonna use the same sprite command that we had, but now we're going to use the um, fancy uh, number that we assigned to the body. So we can say uh, self dot, uh, let's see. What was it? Self dot spr dot body dot num. So that's our sprite number for the body, right? And now we need an X position for uh, the sprite. Let me just make sure I'm doing this right. Let's look up the uh, API reference. Um, X Y width height num um, sprites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Maddie says, I gasped. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Cass says, coders are so powerful. No attachment, no fear, pure optimizing. Yeah. You can't get attached to your uh, to your code because you're going to rewrite it over and over and over again. Mochi, hello. New here. So just curious what language this is in. And hi, hi, move. Mochi, this is in Lua. Uh, technically, the game engine is Pico 8. So they use a slightly modified version of the scripting language Lua, but uh, if you know or recognize Lua, then you'll 
you'll recognize most of the syntax that you see. I love Pico 8 so, so much. It's a delightful little game engine. Okay, so now we need an X position, right? And we we told ourselves we're going to use relative coordinates rather than absolute coordinates. So we need to grab the absolute coordinates first, right? So that's that lives in self.pos.x. Uh, this stands for position. So this is our position in the world. Or sorry, not in the world, on the screen. Um, and yep. And then we're going to add to that the self.sprite dot body dot x and now we need to do the same for the y variable so we're going to add y and now we need a width which is two and a height which is two because the body is a little bit bigger than an eight by eight sprite and then uh i think the last thing is about flipping um and i think we did code in whether or not we're facing left yes we did so we can actually slap that in here as well. Uh, self dot is left. Boom. Nailed it. Mochi equals big nerd. Mochi knows the Cody code. Moof is dumb dumb. Moof is not dumb dumb. But I'm excited to hear that Mochi does know the Cody code. That's amazing. Cass says, you're not dumb dumb. You're just educated in different fields. Ooh woo. Yes. So true. Mochi does know some coding and looking to expand even further, and this gets me curious. Mochi, if you want a fun way to learn code and learn a little bit of game development at the same time, Pico 8 is uh, a really awesome game engine, and there's so many community resources to help beginners get into game dev and coding in general. Um, it's got a really, really good community behind it, so I can, I can highly recommend. Y'all, we just we just drew the body. Are we are we proud of ourselves? Do we want to see what this looks like before we add the head, wings, and legs? I do. I do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna restart. And now we've got we've got just the body. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Wait, sorry. What has good resources for beginner game dev? Pico eight. Re. Let me slap this chat and command one more time. Uh. Pico 8 is, is a great tool for making games, and it's great for getting into game dev. Um, there's there's an awesome, really friendly, really kind community around it, and everyone wants to be your friend. So, <laughs> Maddie says, guys, I think I have a hot chalky edition. Me too, Maddie. Me too. I hope that you're enjoying your hot chalky. Right now, it looks like we're uh, a baked chicken <laughs> dancing around on screen. <laughs> Okay, let's let's try and do the same thing, but this time for the head, right? And this is this is where the code gets complex. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for the big brain moment that we're about to have? Watch this. We're gonna paste what we had above. Now every time it says body, we're gonna say head. And because we did all of our data already by using those numbers that we did up above earlier in stream, this is just gonna work. Hopefully. There's like a 90% chance. So, oh, I forgot something. This nearly worked, except for the fact that we need to reduce the width and height, right? So, so real fast, let's go back to the code. Let's reduce the width and the height. That was, that was pretty funny, wasn't it? Um, and then let's transition back and let's, let's try this one more time. Boom, we have a head attached to our duck. It looks real funky right now, um, but we can we can fix the issues. We'll fix the issues at some point, okay? I promise. Moo says, true, true. I only say dumb dumb because that's what we call my BIL. Oh no, I don't know enough internet lingual. Uh, oh, brother-in-law. Is that brother-in-law? I think that's brother-in-law. Very smart, just not at coding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Ri says, my fiance has been interested, so I'll pass this along. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, Ri. Mello says, I got a lurk, but we'll be hanging out. Awesome. Oh my goodness, Yepany Doodles. Hi. Hi, Yepany. Welcome in. So, so good to see you. Thank you for the follow. Um, Y'all, Yepany is super cool. Why can I not shout out Yepany? Oh, there it is. Y'all, Yepany uh, does some amazing uh, clay and digital art. You can correct me if I'm wrong. 
I haven't I haven't been following you super long, but Yepini Yepini is an incredible artist, and if you like art in your Twitch streams, go follow Yepini right now, please, please. Yepini, hi. We're uh, we're doing some game development, and uh, um, yeah, we're working on a game called Earthquack. Uh, it's about a duck named Arlo who has supersonic quack powers. Brother-in-law. Okay, great. Thank, thank you, Moose. Um, thank you so much, Fletch. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. You're always, always welcome. All right. All right, y'all. We're going to do the same copy-paste treatment for wings and legs. And this is going to work for... Uh, this is going to work for facing to the right. It's not going to look so good facing to the left, but we'll we'll fix it. Um, we just got to trust the process and work in baby steps. If we if we do this in little tiny steps and slowly work towards our goal, it'll feel a lot less overwhelming than trying to write all of the code all at once. Um, that's that's the strategy. So let's run this again. Boom, we've got wings and legs. Perfect. The legs look like they're turned in on themselves, which is kind of interesting. Is that how I drew them? That's not how I drew them. Why are they being overwritten? Why do they look so funny? We'll need to solve that mystery, won't we? Also, they're misaligned by a little tiny bit. Okay, so so some things that I'm noticing, the uh, head, wings, and legs all need to go back on the X direction by one. Um, so let's, let's try and make that happen. We'll go back up to our data. The head, wings, and legs need to go back on the X direction by one. And we'll see if this makes it any better. Okay, that's, that's slightly better. We're making progress. Um, let's check out chat. Uh, <laughs> so many friends to say hi to. I was having a bit of a crummy day, so thank you for the kind words. Oh my goodness, Yepini, I hope your day improves. Improves. I love this duck already. Heck yeah, that's that's all we need. One step closer to scanning your passport upon following Yepin Queen. True, true, true. Uh, Re says, I hope your day gets better from here. Yes, we all we all want that. Moose says, Arlo emote when you're right. There's a there's an Arlo emote in our Discord. Uh, but I haven't moved it onto Twitch yet. Um, but if you want to use Arlo all over Discord, join join the Discord, and uh, you can you too can have access to Arlo. All right, I think the what's happening with the legs is that they're just like too far down on the y-axis. So let's try bring, bringing them up a pixel. Um, legs instead of y14, let's try 13. Maybe I just miscounted. Um, let's, let's, Mochi, Mochi, thank you for subscribing. Oh my word, you just got here, friend, thank you. I hope that you enjoy your emos and your ad-free viewing. Thank you so much for supporting my uh, game development journey. All of the, all of the money that I raise on Ko-Fi or Twitch goes back into making streams better and making, uh, making games better being able to uh, buy better tools and things like that so thank you thank you so much for supporting that i appreciate you elaine the sunshine train true babbling brookfield aka elaine is the sunshine train so so true mochi is the best chroma yes so so true mochi thank you so so much oh my word and a gifted sub mochi thank you thank you mochi moose Welcome in. I hope that you also enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. We love to see all that kindness. Thank you. Thank you, friend. Hi, Pipe. I couldn't hit it fast enough. <laughs> Good. I love to see aggressive kindness. That's that's what I want. Okay, you know what? This is better. This Arlo is coming together, everybody. I think the wings could be to raise up one more pixel so let's let's make that little little change real quick uh wings let's let's move this up one by by one pixel right and then let's switch back so you all can see pico 8 
go cool. Is that better? I don't know if that's better. Y'all can give me your opinion. Uh, also, for anyone who doesn't know, Fletch has his amazing physical copy of Speedcat out now on Ko-Fi. True. Elaine, thank you for hyping that up. I appreciate you. We're also raffling off a, a copy of physical Speedcat on stream uh, later in about an hour or so. Uh, so stick around and we'll be raffling off a, uh, a free copy of physical speed cat. Um, OMG, I must look. Yeah, it's 3d printed. I've actually got a batch of, uh, speed cat printing on the 3d printer right now. We can definitely stand to have some more aggressive kindness in chat. Fletch, I hope you're having a great day. Knife. <laughs> Thanks, Maddie. It's, it's getting better. Stream is always something that, uh, raises my spirits. I love hanging out with y'all. Y'all are super cool. Super, super cool. Okay, but the problem is that when we face to the left, everything gets jank. And that's because we haven't given our code enough data yet. But we'll we'll get there. We'll get there, right? Oh my, oh my word. Moose. Moose, thank you. Thank you for for the uh, gifted sub to Yepini. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Amber. <laughs> Hi, Amber. Good to see you. I love that emote. That's that's amazing. That's a great emote. Moose, thank you for gifting us up to Yepini. Yepini, welcome in. I hope that you enjoy your, uh, your emotes and your ad-free viewing. I'm glad that you're here. All right. I do think I like the wings raised up like this. I do think that is better. Alrighty. Um, now we need to figure out how we're gonna make Arlo look good when he faces to the left, right? Facing to the left is what we want. So the cool thing is that the body is already flipping correctly. Mochi. Mochi, thank you, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you so much. You, you're so kind. Thank you. <laughs> we subs and biddies. Y'all are so kind. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, let's get some hype in chat. Oh, hi, wheels. Hi, wheels. <laughs> Re says hype train. Re, thank you. Thank you for the 100 bits. Ah, uh, hype train. Y'all, this is my second ever hype train. That's that's nuts. Y'all are going nuts for Arlo, and I'm here for that. We love we love Arlo. Thank you. Oh my word. Maddie. Maddie, thank you for the 30 bits. Thank you. And Moose. <laughs> Wait. Oh no. Moose, thank you for the 100 bits. Wait, are we chaosing? I'm good at this. Oh no. <laughs> Wheel says, it's a duck. I love them. Wheels, do not apologize for yelling. Arlo is so happy to see you. Arlo is so happy. Yeah, this is Arlo, our friend. Uh, our friend the duck. Um, Y'all, thank you. Oh my goodness, it's a level 2 hype train. Um... No worries. Thank you for coming. Wait. I was looking in your stream. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Y'all can't see my face. I'm going to get a webcam at some point, but uh, my cheeks hurt. <laughs> Y'all make me smile so much. Um, I'm great. How are you, friend? Friends, it's chaos time. All right, Maddie. I see you. Oh my word, Maddie! Thank you for gifting a sub to Elaine. Elaine, welcome in. I hope that you enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. Maddie, thank you so much for gifting a sub. Thank you. Oh my word, <laughs> Mochi. Mochi, hi. Hi, Mochi. Thank you for gifting three subs. Thank you. Who, who received them? Pan, Cass, and Arzulo. Welcome in. I hope that you enjoy your ad-free viewing and your emotes. And uh, everyone who's been gifted a sub, please, please uh, thank your gifter. I forgot to say that earlier, but 
we have some incredibly generous folks in chat. Thank you, thank you so much, Mochi. Yes, enjoy enjoy the emotes. It's just speed cat with different different props, but uh but I love it. <laughs> oh my goodness, Arzulo Dev and Pixel Jess both got it. That's perfect. Moose, thank you for gifting a sub. Thank you. <laughs> oh no. I can't even do game development. More chaos incoming. <laughs> Amber says, Fletch, I was at the park and this poor man's dog kept getting nibbled by the ducks there. Oh no. I guess that's what he gets for having a purebred. Oh, a purebred dog. <laughs> Amber, thank you for the 100 bits and the pun. That's incredible. I love puns. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's so funny. That's so funny. Y'all are so generous. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Your oh no was too funny. <laughs> Wait, Moose, thank you so much for the gift. Yes. Moose and Mochi and uh, many, many, Maddie, many, many other friends, Re, all of y'all, all of y'all are being so generous right now. Thank you. Okay. What were we doing? We were gonna make Arlo look good on this left side. He's like, catch me on my good side. This this is Arlo's good side, right? We need him to look good this way too. Cause he doesn't look so good right now. Moose. <laughs> Moose, hello. Arlo is a pro gamer, looks left and only needs one leg to do so. <laughs> True. Thank you, Moose. Thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, can't help but do that, especially if you now piqued my interest in something new for coding. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's pique some interest, shall we? I also don't know what I'm doing, but we're gonna figure it out together, right? That's that's the whole point. We're we're gonna work through this together. So basically, what we need is we need different uh, relative locations for left and right. Yeah, the um, sprite numbers can stay the same but we need to know whether or not we're, we're facing left or right. Um, and these pixel informations are going to change between uh, rather, whether we're looking to the left or to the right. Does, does, that, does that track? I think that tracks. So how do we want to do this? We could uh, probably Hmm. I'm thinking of like all these different solutions and I'm trying to think of which one is the best on the fly. I've thought of like three different ones in my head, but I'm trying to figure out which one I like the best. Uh, my mom just arrived, so I was a bit distracted. We'll leave a supportive lurk and be back. No worries, Yepini. Enjoy your time with your mom. Uh, Moose says, makes sense to me. Heck yeah. Runs in an hour late out of breath. No, Claire, it's totally okay. Welcome in. So, so good to see you, Claire. Hi, thank you for being here. Yes, everyone's saying hi to Moon and goodbye to Yepini. We love it. We, we love it. All right, so, um, so one of the thoughts that I had was like having body and then another one called like body left which is fine. Um, another way we could do it is have like left equals blank and then right equals blank. But inside of this table, we have the X and Y information. Do something like this, um, which is also okay. It's not, this is probably my favorite. Um, and then the last solution we could do is like left Y and right Y, which actually maybe, maybe that would be better. Let's uh, undo, maybe what we'll try is left X and right X, and then left Y and right Y. And maybe for my own sanity, we'll put the lefts next to each other and the rights next to each other. I'll do something like this. I think, I think this makes sense. And then all we'll need to do is 
change these numbers. Actually, these are the ones that should say 0, 06, and we'll need to change the numbers for the left. Anyways, um, oh, the hype train ended. Y'all, thank you, thank you so much for completing the life, the hype train up to level three. You are, you are some very generous beans. Moose, thank you for the 100 bits. Amber, thank you for the 100 bits. Moose, thank you for the community gift sub. Mochi, thank you for the three community gift subs. That's huge. Maddie, thank you for the gifted sub to Elaine. Moose, thank you for 100 bits. Maddie, thank you for 30 bits. Uh, Ree, thank you for 100 bits. And Mochi, thank you so much for 100 bits. Oh, Moose, thank you for a gifted sub to Yepini. Mochi, thank you for a gifted sub to Moose. And Mochi, thank you for subscribing. Woo, choo choo badge. Heck yeah. Y'all are so incredibly generous. Thank you for supporting my game development efforts again. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I just want to make cool games and fun experiences for people to enjoy. And I appreciate you financially supporting that that goal. Thank you. Um, I've been told if you want to push buttons, eventually Arlo will have a machine gun arms and a cape. Moose, maybe. There are going to be power-ups. Um, so I will keep machine gun arms and a cape under consideration, okay? Wheel says, maybe a silly kid question but what language is this it looks like some sort of mix of javascript and python wheels you have a great intuition so listen javascript is a scripting language python also a scripting language lua is another type of scripting language so you got the family of languages right um and this is lua so you're you're exactly right that it looks like javascript and python <laughs> claire says my sweet pure big feats having machine gun arms and a cape <laughs> oh no there's some contention in chat choo choo badge Cass says, that's not silly at all. Uh, the question came up earlier, but I don't know how to write it. I'm sure Fletch will get to you in a moment. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Cass, for that explanation. Lua. Never used Lua before. Lua is one of my favorite languages. Uh, after using Pico 8 for a while, I just fell in love. Freaking love this language. So we're going to have right X and right Y. Yep, yep, yep. And then we're going to have left X and left Y. Left X equals 0 left y equals zero boom we're gonna copy and paste this sucker and then we're gonna paste it in and then we're gonna say right x and right y perfect paste right x right y perfect all right now what we need to do before we uh, get left x and left y figured out um i want to go and fix our code because this is going to be broken now um, so where we used to have body.x, body.y, head.x, head.y, whatever. Now it's like right x and right y, right? So we're going to need to insert right in front of all of these variables so that they're named correctly. So we're just going to do this. Boom. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to snag all of this. We're going to indent it and we're going to say if is left then we're going to draw the body one way otherwise we're going to draw the body as if it's printing or as if it's facing to the right just like that easy peasy and maybe um i'm going to take these comments out oops and reduce some of this vertical space because I don't know that I need it since this is pretty semantic. Our variables are, are well named, so we sh shouldn't need the comments. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy and paste this up here. And, uh, oh no, this should be intended. My editor is using the wrong number of spaces. Um, not using spaces for, there we go. Um, oh no, there's an add. Get out of here, ads. I'd settle for just a tiny cape, like a handkerchief size. Moose, moose, we can get we can get a handkerchief. Uh, let's let's uh let's do that a little bit later. But I I do think a handkerchief update could be super super cool. <laughs> We're bopping, heck yeah, bop away. Zevi has great emotes. Okay, okay, okay. What time is it? Four oh four. Perfect. So now we need all of the information for our body. Oh no, wait one second. Every time we see right X in this, we actually need to say left X 
And right here, we need this to say left Y. Boom. Easy peasy. Okay, now we just need to configure the data. The code is written, now we just need the data, right? So let's go back to Pico 8 and make sure that this is working kinda sorta. So facing to the right looks good. Facing to the left looks real jank. Real, real jank. Did I load the external changes? I think I did. The head looks funny to me. I don't know why the head's rendering all the way over there. Anyways, we'll figure that out. <laughs> it says lefty, like left-handed coding humor. <laughs> True. Yeah, sometimes the variables look a little funny. All right, so what we want is to figure out the information for uh, reflecting across the vertical axis and figuring out where the positions need to go. The legs look like they're going to be pretty easy to align. We just need to move them along the x-axis, like uh, four. I'm going to guess four. I'm going to guess the number four. So I'm going to just change this off screen uh, so we don't need to flip back and forth all the time. Uh, legs. Wait one second. Am I being silly? I don't think I'm being silly. I don't think I'm being silly. Nah, no way. No way. Let's try shifting the legs over a little bit, shall we? Okay, that shifted the legs over. What what is happening? Some some jank stuff is happening. I'm confused. We'll need to figure that out. Uh Ducky gets so excited when they jump off <laughs> they jump out of their socks when looking left. True. True true. Moose says inspires me to break out my old Py game Python software. Ooh, Py game is cool. It's been a minute. Yeah, do it, Moose. Claire says, I used to love naming variables. As long as they made sense to me, they could be the most ridiculous words. True, 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 true. That's wonderful. Finding a way to make work bring joy will make life so much better. Yes, Cass, that's a big wisdom. It's a big wisdom. Moose says, wouldn't you want to shift the body so the whole duck doesn't root? Moose. What a big brain play. Let's, let's do that. Thank you, Moose. Thank you. That's, that's actually like top tier advice. Let's shift the body uh, over to the left a little bit. And we'll just, we'll just guess at where it's supposed to be. Also, I think these Y values will need to be the same as the other ones. That would at least make sense to me. Um, Yeah, I mean, that would that would at least make sense to me. Let's try it, shall we? There's right, facing to the left. Still a little bit jank. Why didn't, it looks like the same as before. I don't get why, why it's not working. Huh. Moose says, oh, oh, your wing is flipping. It is flipping. Every, so every every sprite is flipping to the left. Yeah, everything, everything is flipping directions. What I don't get is why the coordinate math isn't working out. Because these numbers should be affecting the way they get rendered to screen. Oh, no, that should, that should, that would flip the sprite. <sighs> that should be fine. And then if we're facing the left, We we use all of these. Body 
that left Y. Yeah, I don't see why this code would be working when it's the exact same as this code, but this code doesn't seem to be doing the numbers. I don't know why the numbers aren't doing the numbers. Very strange. Um, let's just try a really big number and see if we can get it. Sometimes you just gotta see if your code is being hit at all, you know? Oh, that is better, actually. Um, Claire says, gonna lurk for a little bit while working from school. Peek back in in a minute. No worries, no worries. Um, Moose says, Fletch, not a huge deal, but just a, for your information, chat box on the screen is blocking some of the furthest right code. It doesn't always matter, but just thought I'd let you know. Yeah, I was trying to figure out how to get uh, my screen window big enough to be somewhat readable, but also have chat on screen. Um, and when I'm playing games and things like that, chat works best on the right middle because that's the least likely spot for information to exist. If that makes sense. Early applies, just sir, wasn't sure if you weren't aware. Thank you, thank you for letting me know. Yes, I appreciate that. That's something that I, I thought long and hard about um, how I was gonna do, and it's it's what I landed on, but I know it's not ideal in all circumstances. Um, let's see. I'm still I'm still a little confused why our coordinate math isn't quite working. This is on the left edge of the uh of the position. We would want the head to also spawn near the left edge. Oh, so the body should really be like three to the right. So the head shouldn't be being drawn where it is. If the 16 by 16 square What? Anyways, there's there's more chat. Hack says, why not have sprite cores relative to the center of the duck and then just add one right facing, subtract one left facing. Yeah, calculating centers, in my experience, just is more work. <laughs> so I was kind of hoping to avoid that. But I totally see what you're saying, Hacks, and maybe that's the way we're gonna need to go if I can't figure this out. But I feel like, I feel like I'm just missing something obvious. I feel like I'm just missing something obvious. So, so when the body flips, the head wants to be drawn near the zero zero corner of the position, but that that's being like rendered like way far away. I, it's not appearing basically in the tile that I expect it to appear. Is it because the width and height is is different? I bet, oh, I bet it's because the width and height, the body is a two by two sprite and the head wings and legs are one by one sprites. So I bet what's happening is there something going on with the way Pico 8 likes to likes to handle extra wide sprites? I wonder what would happen if we make the body temporarily one by one. We're going to lose some pixel information. I wonder what's going to happen. Compass Colt. Hello, welcome in. Hi. Oh no, we have ads. Everyone, if you're an ad, I'm sorry. Compass, thank you so much for the follow. So, so good to see you, friend. Um, let's see. 
that's that's slightly more like what I expect. But I still don't know why the the head is rendering on a completely different tile than the body. That makes no sense to me. Compass Colt says, so glad I caught you streaming. Compass, thank you so, so much for being here. It is so good to see you. If you would prefer to go by Compass or your full name, Compass Colt, just let me know. If you want to be called something else, I'm happy to accommodate uh, whatever you like to be called. We're working on some game dev right now. This is Arlo the Duck, and we're struggling to put his body parts together. <laughs> Welcome in, friend. This is cursed. Yes, Pan, I agree. Arlo is missing front body. Yes, that's because I made Arlo's uh, body temporarily one by one sprite, just so I could see what was going on. And for some reason, uh, our head and our uh, body are being rendered on completely different uh planes of existence. <laughs> I don't know why that, that difference is so big. Let's see. So when we're when we're to the right, we're adding nine. And when we're to the left, I guess maybe this should be negative nine. Is that gonna fix the head issue? Maybe that'll fix the head issue. I don't know. No. That doesn't change anything. Why does that not change anything? It did say reloading external changes, right? What's weird to me is it, it seems like it's not even reading. Oh, my word, y'all. I found the issue. Y'all wanna know the big dum-dum that I did? I need this to say self.is left. We were just reading is left, which didn't exist. And so Pico8 was like, huh, that variable doesn't exist. I guess it's not true. And it was always using this code. And that's why I was confused why my, my numbers weren't updating. Let's, let's try this, shall we? That's better. Look, now, now the things are flipping the way I would expect them to. That's so much better. That's so much better. Compass works great. Okay, this duck is so cute, even if the head isn't cooperating. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, you came in at a cursed moment, but uh, we'll, we'll fix the duck up. Compass is going to lurk. Thank you for the lurk. Thank you so much for being here. Astro, hello! I hope you enjoy your lurk and that it's very productive. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for lurking. Moose says, yay. Now that we make 2x2 two two again and then good. Yeah, I think so. I think we can make it 2x2 two two again. Oops. And then we're good. Let's go back to 2x2 two two mode. And we can clean up the uh, the pixel numbers a bit. That's a full body. Okay, now <laughs> everything is uh, obviously a little misaligned, but uh, that's okay. Hey, hey, Ellie, you want to see a duck deconstruct? <laughs> Welcome back, Ellie. Deconstructed duck. Yes, Moose. You and I had the same idea. Delicious. I learned about else if commands. Hey, guess what we're doing? Ellie, look. Else if commands. If else. Okay, we need we need to adjust the numbers desperately. Let's let's get the head in position and we'll just work one body part at a time, shall we? Uh let's transition back. Make sure that the head looks good from the left. Nope, it needs to go a little bit further. Not a problem. From here on out, the code is figured out. It's just a numbers game. Easy peasy. Let's shift the head over um, by, let's say, three. See what that looks like. Uh, doo -doo -doo. That's too close. We need to shift it over by two. One more try. Perfect. That's the same as it was before. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh no. Oh my God. <laughs> true. 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 So the feet aren't moving, correct? Or are they technically flipping? Also, they are flipping. It's just uh, it's a natural mirrored sprite. Um, they look the same from both ways. 
Um, yeah, so the, the feet need to move to the right by a lot when we're facing left. So I guess let's look on, work on the legs next. We'll just try a full eight. See what that's like. Legs, full eight. Try this. Uh, we need to go one more. That's a nine. That's a nine. We need a nine. Perfect, legs in position. Beautiful. Okay, now we just need the wing in position, right? Let's try moving the wings over 9-2 because that was the magic number before. All right, everybody. Arlo is flipping as we would expect. Our deconstructed duck is now reconstructed and we have him facing to the left and to the right perfectly. Love it. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Yay, Arlo. And uh, Maddie says beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. So... So basically we got back around in an hour and a half, we got back around to the same duck looking on screen that we had before, except now we have a lot more control over uh, the, the positions of its individual body parts, which means we can, uh, we can do some cool, uh, cool sprite animation stuff. Moose says, wouldn't you want him to rotate on his legs so he doesn't dance when he flips? Yes, Moose, you're absolutely correct. We would want him to flip on his legs. Uh, for now, we're not going to solve that issue because that's going to be a little bit more work. Um, however, you're absolutely right, and we'll, we'll get to that eventually. I really want to do some, uh, some sprite animation, though. Moose, I'm glad you're here, though, because you're, you're asking and saying all of the right things. Um, you clearly understand game development clearly sorry not trying to backseat just super super amped about arlo yeah uh if i didn't want backseating i would have the no backseating tag on my stream but feel free to backseat uh i'm i'm here for that i want as much idea generation as possible that's what i want re i'm glad that you think it's cool thank you maddie says hi pipe 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 heck yeah Tauntaun is using the manifest emote. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Okay. Let us see. Okay, so so we have this really cool thing where we get to control all of this data. Uh, and now what I want to do for our idle animation is play with the Y values. And I want to basically uh, change how high or low um, each of the body parts sit on the body so that it looks like the duck is like breathing when we're standing still, if that makes sense. So let's start with just the wings because I feel like the wings uh, are gonna be the easiest. Moon, welcome back. I have returned and you figured it out? Heck yeah, heck yeah we did. It was the power of friendship and chat being helpful. <laughs> All right, so Let's start with the wings. I want to move the wings up and down um, on a rhythm as if the duck is breathing, right? So we know about our game that the the game runs at 60 frames a second. So what we can do is we can have a counter that says uh, every, um, I don't know, every 30 frames, so every half second, uh, do this thing. So what we'll do, what I did for SpeedCat, this is a little look into um, the code behind SpeedCat, is I had something that I called, uh, uh, let's see. Um, I called them ticks. Uh, and um, so basically I can say tick is equal to false. And then every 30 frames, I can set tick to its opposite value. And then 30 frames after that, I can set tick back to false. Um, so it'll it'll flip on and off every single time the game has a tick, right? Um, and actually what would probably be better is a rising edge tick. So every time we hit a multiple of 30, we turn it to true just for that update. 
and then we flip it to false for on the next frame and so we'll only we'll be updated for every tick but we uh won't be uh i don't know i don't know if anything that i'm saying is making sense um basically we'll we'll flip we'll flip this flag at a certain point um where's our update method update 60 so um oh we also need a frame counter sorry everybody we're jumping around a lot um frame is equal to zero we start counting at zero and we're going to count up as much as we want um so in our update method we'll say frame is equal to frame plus one this will add one to our frame counter and then we'll say uh if frame divided by 30 is equal to zero or sorry frame divided by 30 uh, has a remainder of zero. That means that we're on like frame 30, frame 60, frame 90, stuff like that. Um, we'll say tick is equal to true. And then if not that, we'll say tick is equal to false. And then what we actually could do to simplify all of this is instead of writing it this way, let's comment that out for now. We could write it as tick is equal to frame modulus 30 equals zero and now this will return a true or false value and assign it to tick because we're geniuses boom um i love everyone saying hi to each other that's so good oh, excuse me while i take a water break Ooh, it's almost about that time y'all let's let's take a break from coding for now um, and let's transition to talking about Speed Cat Physical Edition. So, uh, I've done this cool thing where um, I have a 3D printer in my house and uh, I am selling limited copies of Speed Cat Physical Edition. Speed Cat is my new uh, game out on itch.io, released a week ago. Elaine, I was just about to run that command. Thank you. Thank you so much, friend. Um, and yeah, so basically, uh, Speedcat is a game that you can play for free in your browser, but also I opened a shop so that you can buy a 3D printed um, version. Basically, it's a little magnetic box with Speedcat printed on it. And when you open it up, there'll be a flash drive and that flash drive will hold a copy of Speedcat on that flash drive. That was pretty redundant. And uh, and I'm super excited about it. I'm selling limited copies right now because uh, I am trying to figure out how to do um, packing and shipping and all of that because I want to open a 3D print shop uh, eventually. So this is kind of like a trial run and also a way to advertise for Speedcat. So what we're going to do in chat right now is we are going to raffle off a copy of Speedcat Physical Edition. Uh, if you enter, uh, you agree or you, you, you are basically telling me that you're 18 plus and you are willing to share your address information with me on Discord in a private DM. Uh, and if you agree to both the fact that you're over 18 and you're willing to share your address information with me, international addresses are accepted. Uh, um, if you win, you just gotta send me your address and then I'll send I'll send it, uh, I'll send physical sweet cat to you. And then if you don't win, you can always go buy it from the shop. There's four copies left. So, uh, let's start the raffle. I think it's like this. Let's make the keyword speed cat because that makes sense. Uh, and then let me check my notes to make sure I'm using this command correctly. Cause I don't want to, uh, mess it up. Do 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 followers. That's the word I was missing. And uh, we are going to uh, run this raffle for about 15 minutes or so. Um, everyone who wants to enter, type in Speedcat. Uh, the bot won't tell you whether or not you're entered and I can't see either. So we just gotta trust, this is a faith thing. Um, I'm glad that Ree corrected her spelling because uh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, so um, also I, I missed some things in chat. So I need to go back up and, and read. 
Elaine says, Mahaha, beat you to it. Little Ghost Ellie says, I know, I need you to know that this is the first thing I bought with my first paycheck from the new job and it's the best money I've ever spent. Oh, Ellie, that is so sweet. I was so surprised when I saw the alert come through that you you bought Speedcat. I was I was so happy. Um, I was sitting on the couch with my wife watching some TV last night when I made the shop public for Discord people and uh, Speedcat had sold its first copy in 15, or sorry, in, within five minutes. And I was like astounded. <laughs> I was astounded. It's so cool. Thank you, Ellie. Thank you so, so much. That is an incredible honor to receive from you. Your first paycheck. Wow, that's amazing. Moose says, what? How did I not know about this? You know about it now. Heck yeah. Obviously, I needed it. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. Thank you, Ellie. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Um, If someone new comes into chat, uh, just just let me know or let them know about the raffle. Um, it's gonna run for about 15 minutes. Anyways, um, also one more thing about Speedcat. It's gotten over 1,500 plays and that's nuts to me. That's just on itch.io. I don't really know what's going on in the Pico 8 Explorer world, but uh, like that's that's 150% more interaction than I was hoping for. <laughs> Like, blew my expectations out of the water. It will have a place of honor on my desk so I can show it off to all the 15-year-old FPS players I moderate who constantly ask about my setup. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. And maybe those 15-year-old FPS players want to try a, uh, a cute little tiny platformer. <laughs> Thank you, Tauntaun. Yes, it is amazing. I've been blown away by how well-received the game is for, for such a tiny little thing. Thank you. Thank you, Tauntaun. I really appreciate that. <sighs> Alright. Uh, that's that's my little spiel about Speedcat while we wait for the raffle to finish. Um, let's go back to writing code. So, we just created a tick variable that's going to turn on every 30 frames and then turn off again on the 31st frame or the 61st frame or whatever. So, now what we want is we want to uh, start using that information to help us. Uh, so what we can do is, um, uh, for now, this is gonna be, oh, actually, no, 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 no. We can, we can future-proof this. We'll say uh, wings, and we can say uh, adjust down is equal to um, and then we'll say false for right now. Oh, you know what? Instead of false, let's do zero. We'll use zero and one for this. Um, and maybe we'll just call this adjust. Wings adjust equals zero. Perfect. And then basically what we can say is... Um, uh, how would we do this in the most succinct way? How would we do this in the most succinct way? Um, thinking. Thinking is hard. <laughs> Ellie says I'm entering for Gert. Gert. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but thank you. Thank you for doing that. Yes, I'm sure he would love to receive a copy of, of Speedcat. So. Thank you. Uh, I, I think Ellie had, not Ellie, I think uh, Spicy had mentioned on your Discord, Ellie, that uh, he was wondering if there was uh, international shipping. So I'm, I'm sure he'll be thrilled if he wins. Um, let's see. Uh, what we can say is if a tick then we're going to set uh, self dot sbr dot wings dot adjust down equal to true or not true one and then uh, actually we don't want we don't want that we want it to if it's one we want it to be zero and if it's zero we want it to be one right so if tick 
and uh, self.spr.wings. Just okay. This is gonna get too long, and we're gonna need to do this for a lot of a lot of sprites. So I think this is actually uncalled for. Um, maybe we have duck dot adjustment. is equal to uh, zero. I'm I don't know how this is gonna work. Y'all, I've never done I've never done sprite stacking animation before, so I'm trying to figure it out on the fly. But it, this will probably need to be cleaned up off stream when I'm when I'm thinking a little better. Speed cat two, too spicy, too furious. <laughs> amazing. That's amazing. Speed cat two would be fun. I'm not opposed. Um, okay. If tick and self dot adjustment is equal to one, then we'll say self dot adjustment is equal to zero. Else self dot adjustment. Except that this will need to be an else if. Tick and self dot adjustment is equal to zero. Then, okay, so if it's one already, we set it to zero, and if it's zero already, we set it to one. And then for the wings, what we can do is for the y coordinate, um, we can just add self dot adjustment. This is this is definitely going to be need to be rewritten. This is I can already see that this solution is going to crumble. However, it's what we got for now. We're we're trying to make oops, that's the wrong screen. We're trying to make a little baby steps. Little baby steps towards the uh, eventual solution. There we go. Now we've got our wing moving up up and down. And it looks like it's breathing. So that's kind of what we want to do, except I want to do that with the head and the body as well. So the legs will stay in the same place, but everything else will kind of like breathe. But I don't want them to all breathe uh, in sync at the same time. I want them to all like uh, kind of loop. So like the head will lead and then the wings will follow and the body will follow and then the head will pop back up and the wings will pop back up and then the, uh, the mm -hmm. body will pop back up. So it'll kind of like be a cyclical breathing animation where everything's just like a little bit off but this is this is a good start so uh michelle hello oh oh michelle announced her presence to chat y'all on thursday on thursday our good friend the michelle gray is having her very first stream and you know what y'all should go follow michelle so you can catch the amazing wonderful michelle do her very first stream please please go show your support and love to michelle for her did i say it's her very first stream it's on thursday it's on thursday it's her very first stream and y'all should go show your love and support over there that's all thank you <laughs> brian hello also good to see you friend how are you doing, Michelle and Brian? So, so good to see you. Everyone's saying hi to each other. Love it. Love it. Love it. So many friends. Hi, everyone. Heck yeah. It's also her birthday on Thursday. Oh my goodness. Get out the party emotes. That's that's amazing. Everyone save your best party emotes for, uh, for Michelle on Thursday. Michelle could slap me in the face and I would say thank you. <laughs> Ellie, I love the way you phrase things. <laughs> That's amazing. That's literally incredible. Okay. Okay, okay. So now if we want uh, the body to adjust, we're gonna need a second counter. Um, that'll count how many ticks have passed and then we'll need uh, all of them on a different cycle. So that'll be 
that'll be interesting to say the least that'll be interesting maybe what we could do this is again we're gonna we're gonna go for the bad solution first on stream and then i'm gonna think about when it would be the right time to do the right solution okay so we'll say tick one and we'll say tick two and tick three all right we're gonna we're gonna start with a really bad solution and then we're gonna work our way up to the right solution uh, sometimes it's just the way you gotta go and approach the problem so now we'll say tick one is equal to frame mod 30 and we can say tick two is equal to frame plus 10 mod 30 and then we can say tick three is equal to frame plus 20 mod 30 equals zero and this will offset all of the ticks by uh 10 frames so uh first we'll hit this one and then 10 frames later we'll hit later we'll hit this one and 10 frames later we'll hit this one that's what's gonna happen my brain isn't all here oh wait oh wow i missed a lot holy moly <laughs> look <laughs> what is it ellie i just finished coding tutoring my brain isn't all here. No worries. That is okay. It's okay for the brain to be gone. Uh, everyone's saying hi. Everyone's still saying hi. Yes, the beautiful soul Michelle is streaming on Thursday. Ah, that's amazing. Who's pumped? I'm pumped, Elaine. I'm pumped. Can't wait to go stream. Go scream at everyone in Michelle's stream. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. It's going to be epic. Can't wait to just scream, except I won't because I'm quiet. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Michelle... You should have a, a bits redeem for you to just scream bloody murder in your chat. So if, if someone hits like like 500 bits, you just let out a blood curdling scream. <laughs> we all know you're internally screaming, baby. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who isn't though? Who isn't? Okay, so now we can say if tick one and instead of self dot adjustment. I think this is a bad form. Let's get rid of self dot adjustment and instead use this adjust variable that I had before. So we're gonna give one of these to all of them, except I guess the legs don't need it. The legs don't need an adjustment. Um, and then we'll basically say uh, tick one is for uh, self.sprite.wings.adjust and then we're gonna need this for uh, the body and head. So tick two, tick three, body, head, boom. And then instead, this will be self dot sprite dot wings dot adjust. And then we'll take this and for the uh, head and for the body, um, we will say head. Oh, no, this is the body. Oops. Body. Head. Boom. Awesome. Okay. And then... What we'll do is we will uh, do the same thing down here. So we have self.adjustment. This will instead be spr.wings.adjust. And then we need to take this phrase and we need to slap it. These two, and now this one will be body and this one will be head. And hopefully if we did everything correctly, we'll be able to go back to Pico 8 uh oh, syntax error. Uh, we have two commas. Let me go fix that. Two commas by accident. Okay. There we go. It's not moving up and down. So something went wrong. But that is okay. Um, let's read chat. 
Uh, oh no, I might miss your stream, Michelle. No, it's Thursday. Yes, it's on Thursday. I will scream for you. Perfect. Perfect. I will be traveling on Thursday. Oh no, Claire. Well, hey, there's going to be more streams. Michelle's not doing a one and done stream. Gotta lurk again, Fledge. I keep your stream for viewership, but I have a quiz to do, so no more chatting. No worries, Claire. I hope your quiz goes well. Hyrule says, hey, Fletch. Uh, busy work day, so I'm just dropping in for a bit. Hyrule, thank you so much for being here. Hyrule, uh, real quick, if you type in speedcat in chat, all lowercase, uh, you'll be entered into the raffle right before I close it. So I'll give you a minute or two to uh, to type in speedcat. Perfect. That's perfect. You're in, you're in the raffle now. Yeah, this is everyone's last chance to get in the raffle. A physical copy of Speedcat. Oh, wait, rap. Hi, Roll. <laughs> I forgot you already ordered Speedcat, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, if you win, uh, you can. I'll send it to you and you can give it to a friend. Are we, though? I thought I couldn't tell you if you were in LOL. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I can't tell. Oh, yeah. Michelle and uh, Brian weren't here. So, yes, thank you for typing in Speedcat. And Tauntaun. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. If I win, we'll redraw. Okay, okay, okay. Um, We're going to end it now, though. Let me pull up Speedcat back on screen just so that we're looking at that uh, while we do this. Let me make sure I'm typing in the right command. It's just raffle end. Okay. All right, everybody. We're going to see if this, uh, this bot actually works. Here we go. Tauntaun! Yay! It was Tauntaun, everybody. Can we get some hype in chat for Tauntaun? Tauntaun, on Discord, if you send me your uh, IRL name and address, I will get that in the mail to you as quick as I can. I would love to send you a physical copy of Speedcat. Magnetic enclosure. Fancy 3D printed graphics. It was you, Tauntaun. It was you. Yeah, so I mean no rush, but uh just just remember to send me your, your deets so that I can uh I can send it that to you. That'd be so cool. That'd be so so cool. It was always you, you beautiful bonbon. <laughs> True. For anyone who didn't win, you can get your copy here. Heck yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming Elaine's typing uh, the speedcat command, so that's great. Uh, Tauntaun says, hee hee, oh my gee, thank you, Fletch makes, holy heck, holy noodles. <laughs> holy heck, holy noodles. That's that's so much better. That's so, so much better. Congrats, congrats to you, Tauntaun. I can't, I can't imagine anyone better to receive. There, get it there. Yeah, if you click on that Ko-Fi shop, you can you can order uh speedcat for yourself hydrant hello thank you for being on brand and hydrating me today everybody pick up your your water glass or your tea or your coffee and let's all hydrate together cheers amazing 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 you're breathtaking okay uh let's go to visual studio code which obs forgot to uh look at there we go um i got yelled at for sending messages too quickly oh weird i'm sorry about that elaine um we need to figure out why arlo the duck isn't bopping up and down if it's equal to one then set it to zero if it's equal to zero set it to one that makes sense to me this is adjust do I have it written wrong down here? No. That's all written correctly. Okay. Self.sprite.body.adjust. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, else if. This else if. That was the problem. That was the problem. All right, we found it, everybody. Let's go back and see if Arlo pops up and down now. Almost, the wings are working. Now the other ones aren't working, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> wait, look, it's Ducky. Hello, thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Um, I love your username. It is a Ducky. Look, look, it's Arlo the Duck. 
Look at look at Arlo. It's it's a ducky. How are you doing, friend? Thank you. Thank you so much for the follow. I hope that you enjoy your time here. We're I do cozy game development on Tuesdays and on Fridays. Uh I do um I just play a cozy video game and we all hang out and have a great time together. It's super, super fun. Um so the wing, the wing is bopping. That's great. Something is wrong with our code to make the uh make the uh, other body parts bop, right? So let's zoop back over here and figure out what's going on. I'm pretty confident that this is right. I'm thinking that there's something up with our uh, code down here. Tick one, tick two, tick three. So maybe what we need is extra parentheses. It's entirely possible we need extra parentheses to make this all, all happy. So we're gonna start there with our investigation and see if it's the parentheses. There we go, look at that. We have a breathing duck, everybody. Amazing. That's that's like exactly what I wanted to see. Obviously, there's some things that need to be cleaned up. However, the duck is breathing. That's This is exactly what I wanted for an idle animation. And look, we can turn left, we can turn right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, re redeemed heck and stretch. Okay, everybody, to celebrate the success of Arlo, we're all gonna stretch. I'm turning and twisting in my chair to uh to get my back properly aligned again. Ooh, that crack felt good. We're gonna stretch the deltoids. Stretch the deltoids. Heck yeah. Maybe a little bit of tricep action. All right. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, look at Stucky says, hi, the duck may or may not have directly contributed to my decision to follow. Well, thank you so much for following. Yeah, we're making a game about a duck named Arlo the Duck. And uh, he has supersonic quack powers, but that's not coded in yet. I'm glad you think Arlo is a great name. It was named by one of our wonderful viewers, Casamus, who, uh, who had a recent baby nephew born. Elaine says, okay, Fletch, my main man, I've got to lurk. Uh, get some dinner, get started since hubby isn't home. Having sweet and sour meatballs with egg noodles. Oh, that sounds delicious. Elaine, enjoy your lurk. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. You'll be back. Perfect. Hyrule Dad says, you get parentheses and you get parentheses. That's true. Everyone gets parentheses. Everybody. Everyone's cheering for, for Arlo. Lucas Stucky says, or did you say our Lil? Yeah, I said, I said our Lil. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I did say Arlo. Arlo. A-R-L-O. Arlo. Brian suggests you should update the tick speed if you're running for more than 10 seconds. The duck will start breathing fast. That's amazing. Maybe. Brian, if I can find a better system for animating Arlo, I definitely will. That's that's so good. <laughs> Ellie says, me stretching random limbs and hoping one is a deltoid. The deltoid is your shoulder muscle. So if you cross your left arm and push it towards your right side and then uh, pull it a little bit more, if you're stretching your shoulder, that's stretching your deltoid. Look at Stucky says, supersonic quack powers. Can I follow again? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you're excited. Yes, supersonic quack powers. Y'all, I'm so excited that my, my idea about this animation is actually, it's coming to life. That's wild to me. Obviously the physics are still jank and Arlo is stomping all over the place, but this is, this is, feels like a really good start. Um, one thing I do want to do is move the head down so it doesn't look like he's becoming disjointed. Not super happy with a disjointed duck. So let me move his head down just, just a tad, just a tad. All right, let's refresh. That's better. Do y'all think that's better? I feel like this is better. It doesn't look like his head is coming off of his body now. I think this is better. Uh, I feel really happy. I feel really happy about this. You don't even know. I was I was daydreaming about how I was going to make this work a week ago um, while I was walking my dog. And I was like, oh, may maybe. Maybe this will work, but I don't know. But I feel like this looks this looks really clean. Thank you, Ree. Thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, I'm glad that you think it looks better. I think it does too. Physics are jank. This turning left and right on the pivot is a little jank. We need to change. We need to change uh, the pivot for the duck. But uh, this is working. It's working. We're, we're getting closer to an actual game. Oh, excuse me. Hyrule Dad says dreams come true. Heck yeah, they do. Heck yeah. And I'm not going to lie. Uh, we got this finished. And I'm feeling kind of tired. Um, more tired than I usually do at this point in stream. So uh, I'm probably just going to end right here. Because this feels like a good a good capstone for uh, today's stream. So I'm going to look for someone to raid. But I do want to thank all of you for being here. Hanging out having a great time with me. It's been so, so fun to uh, do some chill game dev with everybody. Elaine, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm just feeling a little tired right now. So best to do the self-care and uh, yeah. But fun stuff. I do see that Cher's art is live. Cher's is a wonderful, wonderful uh, bean. Love hanging out in Cher's streams. So we're probably gonna go raid her. I'm just gonna check real fast that she's not uh, wrapping up or ending looks like she's doing some emotes for her own channel heck yeah love to see it doesn't look like she's ending so let's let's uh let's go raid shares art shall we we're gonna start the raid uh y'all can uh use this message copy and paste if you are not subbed and if you are subbed you can copy and paste this message and we're all gonna drop that message in in shares this chat and go say hi um yes thank you everyone for being here thank you again for the hype train uh thank you or congrats to tauntaun for winning the giveaway uh thank you so much for being here um everybody y'all y'all make tuesdays so much more fun so much more better and uh i'm really really lucky to have all of you uh look at stucky says congrats on getting the duck moving i will try to catch next stream heck yeah looking forward to it thank you thank you so much for the follow again um all right, everybody, y'all are wonderful. Y'all are special. Uh, let's go. Let's go show that love and specialness to shares. All right. See you, everybody.